Hello everyone. I am just going to do a little refresher here, or for some of you this may be new to you, is creating the rubrics for your SOAR, your intervention classes. Now since we are at the, high, at the middle school on year-long courses, um, you'll see the 1819, so much of it will be already set in place for you. If we had this for quarters or we had semesters, you would have to create and make sure that you had different categories, etc all set up but if I go to my grading and I take a look at my category here I can see that I do have a category called SOAR assessments that is what I'm going to be using as I go in and I create these assignments now when I go to my assignment list we can see that Ricky um, who I'm using Ricky Torres's grade book already has a rubric set up he has the scoring ready to go he has the due date and um, the number of points. I guess this is the scored, excuse me, how many he's actually scored. So he'll probably be putting these in here um, relatively soon. But let's take a look at what we need to do to actually create an assignment. I'm going to click on my assignment up here at the top and I'm going to try and be a little bit consistent with what he has. So I'm going to put in the rubric and I'm going to put in this rubric is probably going to go from the 28th of January and if we go in two weeks it is going to go to February 8th. Now there's a couple of things that I want to do. When I go to the SOAR assessments it gives me the score entry point of 100 and we can probably go in and change that and, and um, well let's go ahead and see if we can make that change. So I'm going to discard this because yours is going to probably be the same since I'm the one that set it up. Let's go to get those categories and let's go to the SOAR assessment and I am going to look at the assessment value right here, which is 100. This is based on that rubric, which is, has 12 points to it. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now, if you want to do that ahead of time, that might help you a little bit. And at any time, you can go ahead and add in classes that need to be um, on this rubric. And again, that's our standards. Um, grading kind of mixed with our traditional grading so you probably aren't going to make that change at least not this year but you can make that change anytime with that pencil so now I'm going to go back to that assignment list and that'll be just one more thing that I don't have to remember I can just kind of forget about that if I go back to the assignment now remember I didn't save that so I'm going to say rubric 128 through 28 gives me that um, two uh, week time period again if you need to make that change as you can now my default is 12 so that's kind of nice I also want to make sure that I change my due date the due date is what is going to um, kind of push that whether it's in the quarter three or whether it goes to quarter four so that is pretty important you can change that at any time um, by editing that assignment now what I want to do before I go on and save and close this is just to go to my standards and I have those three standards my fluency my comprehension and my vocabulary and I want to check those and I'm going to do a save and close now it prompts me I can score that assignment right away or I can close that and then you can see that we have um, our next rubric that is there I can change the order of those just by flipping that sort order there which also helps so that's all you need to do. You'll go ahead and you'll go through that. It looks to me like you'll have a grading period of um, the next one would be February 22nd, then March 8th, uh, March 22nd, etc. Hope you have luck with this. If you don't, let me know and I will help you out.